Kevin Chaudhary. Today I'm going to do a few miscellaneous kind of problems based on Simpsons, whereby direct use of Simpsons formula may not be there, uh, slightly twisted. So uh, let us look at uh, this question where the half water plane area is projected like this. So uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six main segments, right? And to better define the extremities, the segments which are over here at the end are divided in two parts. If you say H is equal to 6, then over here, uh, these divisions are at 3 meters interval over here and over here. This is to better define the curvature at extremities. So we can actually do this in three parts. We can consider this as area 1. We can consider from here to here as area 2 and from here to here as area 3. And we can find out the individual centroid of these three areas with respect to their respective first ordinate, right? And after that, what we can do is area 1 into D1 plus area 2 into D2 plus area 3 into D3. We take the moment about the same uh, reference level and we find out the common centroid using A1 D1 plus A2 D2 plus A3 D3 divided by A1 plus A2 plus A3. But this will involve a lot of calculation. What we want to do is basically in one table finish off the entire calculation. So how do we do that? Let us first write down what are these ordinates like this is half perpendicular and this is forward perpendicular. Say this is 0, 2, 3, 5, 6, 4, once again 4, 3, and 2.4, 1.2, and 0. This is how the half breadths are described, right? We want to find out the LCF. We want to find out where is the position of center of rotation from the half perpendicular. So what we do is we start writing in the table from half perpendicular and we proceed towards the forward. So we will write down the ordinates as 0, 1.2, 2.4, 3, 4, 4, 6, 5, 3, 2, and 0. So these are the ordinates we have written. The only thing is the separation between these ordinates and these ordinates is 3 meters, whereas separation between these ordinates is 6 meters. We will take care of that. And let us consider this middle section. In the normal situation, if we had to take the Simpsons multiplier, it would be 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1. Similarly, if this part has to be done by Simpson's first rule, the multipliers would be 1, 4, 1. Over here also the multipliers would be 1, 4, 1. But we have to compensate for, if we want to accommodate everything in the same table, we have to compensate somewhere. So what we do is, if we want to write the Simpson's multiplier for this part and put it in the same table, instead of writing 1, 4, 1, I would write half, to half and over here also I would write half to half as you know this particular ordinate is common for this as well as this so it gets added up as one and half the Simpsons multiplier become half to one and half I'll write this part as it is four two four two four here once again this particular ordinate is common to area two and area 1. So I add up this particular multiplier as 1 and a half and this becomes 2 and half. So if I write the Simpsons multiplier as I have written over here, that means I have already compensated. So let's write down the Simpsons multiplier 0 0.5, 2, 1.5, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1.5, 2, and 0 0.5. The third column is y dx and is the product of the first two. So it will be a 0 here, 2.4, 3.6, 12, 8, 16, 12, 20, 4.5, 4, and 0. Let's see what is the sum. 82.5. So half area would be 
h by 3 into sum 1. So that is 6 by 3 into 82.5. So that is equal to 165 meter square. Is the half area that is the area which is depicted by this outline 165 meter square. So we have already compensated for the separation distance being half over here and over here compared to the middle body. So we got the area is 165 meter square. Now let us find out what is the LCF. For the fourth column I need to write down the lever. Now to write down the lever the only precaution is whatever is the actual distance whatever is the actual distance from the reference axis you take that distance so from after perpendicular what is the distance of the first ordinate zero what is the distance of this particular ordinate the intermediate ordinate so can i say 0 0.5 h and this particular ordinate is h the next ordinate is 2 h 3 h 4 h 5 h so uh, this one was h 2h, 3h, 4h, 5h, 6h, 7h. But after that it is 7.5h and then it is 8h. What I have done is as far as the liver is concerned I have written down the actual distance from the first order. Now the next column is the product. So I will write down yx dx over here and this means the product of column number 3 and 4. So it becomes 0 here 2.4 into 0.5 that is half of 2.4 1.2 then 3.6 h 24 h 24 h 64 h 60 h 120 h 4.5 into 7 31.5 h 30 h and 0 so the total would be 300 so the total is 358.3 h so to find out the position of center of rotation with respect to half perpendicular we can say that the distance of center of rotation from half perpendicular is equal to moment of half area about half perpendicular divided by half area and that would be equal to 358.3 h divided by 82.5 and I write h by 3 before both the figures. So uh, moment of area is h by 3 into 358.3h and area is h by 3 into 82.5. We don't have to double the area because we only have to find out the LCFs. h by 3 and h by 3 get cancelled. So it becomes 358.3 into h that is 6 divided by 82.5. 358.3 into 6 equal to divide by 82.5 26.058 that is 26.05 so total length is 48 and 26 which is approximately halfway through 26.058 uh, meter is the LCF so we have used rule number one only of Simpson but there was a slight twisting because in the forward part and the after part the segment was divided in two so the separation was half the normal separation but we have taken care of that we have done everything in the same table we have saved time so this is how you must do the question if uh, there is a slight twist in the question